everybody. Welcome to Awkward Conversations. Uh, you are here today with Seth and Sondra Dunn. As mm-hmm. is true with every awkward conversation. Um, well, not, uh, not every awkward conversation in the world, but every video that we film. <laughs> hey, listen, today, guess what? We're going to talk about date night. Who doesn't like a good date night? But there's problems with it. Uh-oh. So this should be fun. We're going to talk about date night, and and of course, we're a married couple, so we're going to come at it from that perspective. I realize that dating can apply to non-married people, too, but... It okay. should apply to married people, but most of the time it doesn't. Uh-oh. People are too busy. Okay, well, so there's one of the awkward points. Yeah. Why? Mm. Why do we you quit dating? dated before you got married so that you could get to know each other, mm. and then after you're married... Don't need to know anything together, anymore. Now you don't need to know each other. Now you can just no. wander around like, like what? myself. Oh, what? I didn't know how she was going to finish that one. I had lots of thoughts because you're my I I saw the thoughts. We've been married long enough. I was like, there's lots of thoughts flying there. <laughs> so so date night. Yeah, why? I, I think you're right. Life gets busy. We can come up with all the excuses, right? Life gets busy. I mean, particularly if kids come along and careers grow and businesses get started and uh, yeah, life just gets nuts. But I have to admit, I'm not the um, strong point upon this <laughs> in our relationship. But I do have to admit, I mean, why would I not? I, I find somebody that I choose to marry because I liked you. I liked what I saw. I liked what I heard. I liked the interaction. I liked the relationship. Why wouldn't I want that to continue? Yeah. You know, I, and, and this is an area I'm just, you know, just to be quite honest, you know, I'm, this is not my strong point. I have not been good at this in our relationship. And yet I'm more than willing to honor the fact that, I mean, of course I want to get to know her and spend more time. And, you know, we all grow and change constantly. Mm-hmm. So there's that to, there's which more is, to discover all the time, right? Right, which is why the dating is important. This right. is why yeah. people split up after the kids get out of, out yeah. of school. It's but, why they didn't continue what they began. Right. And it's that's what dating is, is continuing yeah. what you started. Yeah. And I think we are genuinely yeah. real bad about it I as think, human beings. Like, yeah. I don't know very many couples... Who are constantly dating, going not constantly. We're on, hours we're on a day. date. Twenty four. Excuse us. Sorry, I can't come to work today. I'm on a date. No, but I mean, like there are oh, very few couples goodness. who are maybe dating once a week for sure. Very yeah. few. Very few are even dating once a month. And my encouragement would be, at least date twice a month. Mm. Have a date twice a month at very minimum. And I also want to just say this, if you are one of those couples who you are dating weekly or bi-monthly, well done. Keep it up. Don't let anything get in the way of that. Continue because it will strengthen you. It will keep you closer. You have got to, that is so important to a relationship. If you're not doing that, change it. Video done. Well, there you go. That's it. (laughs) That was awkward and we're done. You know, no, seriously, we're not done. But I think um, I'm sitting here thinking like a man. (laughs) I guess that's a good thing, right? Maybe. Uh, Don't answer that. I think um, we we just mentioned that life gets busy and and we can come up with those excuses. But I think as men, um, I I hate to generalize that much, but I do think as men, we we are our own enemy in this arena because I tend to think if I'm going to plan a date for us, then it's got to be perfect. It's got to be everything that she's going to love. It's got to be romantic. It's got to be, it's just got to be the best thing. So then I get so stuck that what do I do? Nothing. Or I do something really lame because I feel like I can't meet the standard anyway. And you know what? I'm learning more and more. I'm still, I'm still learning, but she's not putting that standard on me. You know, I, I mean, yeah, you want me to plan and, and, and it's fun. I like, want to have a date. Like, that she just wants to have a date. I need it to be over the top. Like, like one time, 
I planned and we did a whole camp out session. That was kind of a date, although a couple of our kids joined us, so I don't know how that applies, but we did a whole camp out session in our garage. You was, loved that. It was great. That was a massive win. But you know what? I also recognize that she's happy when we just go get a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and we talk. But, oh, but also that's interesting. We talk. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, this is the thing though. It's, I so appreciated that date and that date didn't cost you any money, right? Well, probably cost me something, but not much. 20 bucks? Could have been much. It couldn't have been much. I don't remember. Cost him Thought time. Some food or something. To maybe. set up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it doesn't, that's it, the thing. Mm -hmm. I think, I think one of the things people think is I have to do this amazing date. Uh, right. It doesn't have to be. I can be happy to go get breakfast. I can be happy to and that, do something simple. I mean, sometimes she's happy with a dollar breakfast sandwich yes. at McDonald's. McDonald's. Let's drive to McDonald's, get a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Go walk the lake. Yeah. And drive home. Mm -hmm. Great. Cheap. It's gas, time, and a buck for breakfast. Mm. Right? Yeah. So I yeah. just think, I think we have this conception of, of dates that is just really... Uh, messed up we do and i think that's one of the things i wanted to say is if you never know what to do on dates or you get stuck doing the same thing okay well we're just we go out to eat or we go to a movie those are great but i think one of the things i would say is how fun would it be to have one partner plan the first date the next partner plan the second the first partner plan the third the next partner Right? I'm not talking about multiple partners. That's oh. how it sounded. Yeah, no. <laughs> if the man plans the first date, and the wife plans uh. the second date, and the husband plans the third date, and the wife got Back it. Back and forth okay. between us. Yes. I like that idea. So We don't do that. No. Let's do that. Great. That would be great. Are you planning the first one, or am I? I'm planning the first one. Yeah. So. Okay. If you do that back and forth, then you can take turns deciding. Mm -hmm. And you can decide ahead idea. of time. Okay, we are gonna set a limit. Our dates are never gonna cost more than $40. I don't know what your budget is. You can watch our awkward conversations about finances if you would like to put that in your budget. Yeah, anyway, it's a good idea. I think yeah, having it idea. set like, okay, we're gonna see what kind of dates we can do where we literally are not spending anything except maybe gas and time. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I think it's good. There's if you get creative with dates, they can be fun and they can be great no matter what. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a really good point. And I also think you just used the word fun. It's funny how many funny, it's funny, fun, funny. It's funny how many times I'll say that was fun and she'll be like, what was fun about that? I mean, it was OK. It wasn't bad. But yeah, it was fun. So our definitions of fun are different. So I just think, I'm just gonna note that as you plan things, I mean, it's gonna go both ways. So yes. do things that you think sound like fun, you know, things that you think you'll enjoy. And sometimes maybe it's not fun, but it's just a good time together. But also think about what would they enjoy. Yes. You know, I've just, as yeah. we just lined out that thing of, you know, she'll plan a date, I'll plan a date, et cetera. I immediately thought, oh yeah, you know, she would, she would enjoy doing this and this. I thought of like two things just like that. And I thought, okay, note those and turn those into dates. But there also be those times when I'm like, hey, hey, come on, let's go do this. Mm -hmm. And it's something that maybe she wouldn't necessarily choose, but I would. That's okay too, right? I mean, it goes yeah, both ways. Yeah, and I would say, and maybe if that's a big deal in your marriage where, you know, you have one person who's always like, well, yeah, but you chose that because that's what you want to do. Okay, well then yeah. either make a deal that I'm going to choose things that I think are fun, you choose things that you think are fun, mm. or make the deal that you choose things for me and I'll try to choose things for you. Here's the thing. If your spouse takes you on a date that is lame or stupid or you fight, whatever happens, have some grace. Thank right? you. Right? Like, it's okay to say after the date or the next day, choose your timing, to say, let's don't ever do that again. <laughs> I didn't necessarily enjoy that, right? I would that's, appreciate that. That's okay to have that kind of conversation. 
or to say that was so fun. Let's make sure we keep that in our reserves that we do it again. Yeah. Um, Good point. If you have a fight on the date, it's easy in your head to be like, yeah, we go on a date and this is the kind of crap that happens. I'm not ever going on a date again. I don't like this guy. Right? It's easy to have those kinds of thoughts in your head. Uh, again, have some grace. You remember yeah. when you were dating in the first place and how you would just do anything for the other person because you wanted to please them. You just thought they were the bee's knees. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. It's a good one. It's a good one, though. <laughs> you just thought they were awesome, so cool. You'd do anything with them, right? And now, after living together for however many years it's been for us, it's been how many? Oh, I don't 30, know, thirty-five, five? something like that. A long time. <laughs> so it's to the place where it's easy to be annoyed and be just like roll your eyes all the time, right? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> He does it, but he doesn't admit that he does it. I just straight up say, yeah. So, this is true. So, oh I goodness. think just have the same grace and the same love is blind kind of thing that you had when you were dating, where mm. we go on a date, we have yeah. a fight. I just, okay, put it aside. He didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Whatever. I'm going to have some grace and enjoy our time together rather yeah. than being yeah. a jerk. You know, right? you can't hit it out of the ballpark all Every the time, time. On, a, on anything, mm -hmm. right? So just being honoring to each other. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. And yeah. remember, you're doing the date thing as a team. So even oh. though I may be planning it, we're going to do it as a team. And then I want feedback. I want to know what did you mm. like, what didn't you like. Was that nice? Was that not? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's... No. I told my son one time, treat your spouse like she's your best friend. Mm -hmm. So what would you do with your best friend? Not what would you do with your wife? Because it's easy, husband and wife, to try to mm -hmm. control or establish some sort of boundaries or whatever. Not that. Right. If you were my friend, That's really what good. would I do? How would I talk to you? Yeah. How would I approach really things? Good. Rather than being all, you know, yeah. I, we just get it, mean. I, we get rude to we each do. other. We get we do. unforgiving. We get mean. Yeah. We have these expectations. I do. I do have these expectations. We've been married freaking 35 years. Woo! At this point, you should know what I like and don't like. And when you buy me a gift that I'm like, swell. And that is my attitude. I would be like, it is. awesome. <laughs> No, it's not good enough, right? Like, I can get that kind of attitude. Oh. And I have to watch myself. I There's a line of being able to be honest and right. say, that gift kind of sucks. <laughs> but also being able to effort. say, I really appreciate mm. you thinking of me and trying. Let me help you understand what's better, what would be better. I right? hope I hope my Christmas gift. I'm a little concerned about one of my Christmas gifts for this. Next it doesn't year. matter because we already decided Christmas uh, gifts don't matter this year. We did so. So whatever yeah, it is, keep that perspective. We actually weren't going to do any Christmas. We weren't because we're doing something else. We're doing a vacation thing. So, yeah. you know, I, I love what you're unpacking there because I think in the end, we want dates to include enjoyable activities, but the end game is not the enjoyable activity or the the experience, the end game is this. Creating the a connection, memory. creating a memory, the conversation, the connection. I mean, because there are times where you need to plan a date where it's like, okay, honey, we need to talk, right? Yeah. And, and there's just this thing that we just, we need to communicate on. Yeah. And so we're not doing anything, you know, high flying and exciting. We're just sitting down, cup of coffee or whatever, face to face saying, can I share this with you? And, and or I or and then you back from you know to me. I mean yeah. it's 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 about that it's connection. A conversation instead. And, and you do that me, in lots of ways. And to me, I would say that might be more reserved for hopefully you are having consistent time with each other, whether that's you're both early risers, you're both late night people, which or is you're not neither. the case, you're opposites. <laughs> He's up early, I'm up late. We gotta do lunch, but, I guess. <laughs> so we have this thing where Sunday mornings we go and do this, go and have coffee, right? It's great. So yeah. we go and have coffee. And that's really a great time to just talk. It is. It's not really so a date. It's, but yeah, it is I mean, date it's time. a date in that it's kind of in our books. That's what we do yeah. on Sunday mornings. 
But yeah. I would say it's good to have that apart from dates. So have your dates, but have those certainly weekly, if not throughout the week, those times where you are just sitting just and talking. Connect, right? Have you heard about sitting at the dinner table and having Ooh. dinner together and having the what? a conversation? Like just those regular conversations. Yeah. That way you're not having to bring up those super touchy, difficult subjects on a date. That would be mine. Yeah, no, no, I think that's a good, I, I think, you know, that's, that's really good. I just think dates, there should be variety in them, right? Yes. So absolutely. sometimes they're going to be more low key. Sometimes, you know, I think for, I don't know, maybe for guys, this is just, or the, at least this guy, it's helpful to know that I'm occasionally going to have that bit, that idea that just really is a win, you know, but I don't have to do that every time to bring value. Right. And so that I can bring those wins. I, it's a win, it's hardly a, a, not a good word. That thing that's a bigger deal. Yeah. You know, that thing, because the other's a win too, but I can get that one that's just a really big deal. And I do that a few times a year or whatever, but then the other times, you know, maybe they're not as a big production, but they're still meaningful and there's still connection or even still just fun. Yeah. You know, she... I can take her bowling. I know she's going to have fun. <laughs> if you can find a bowling alley anymore. Yes, right? they're all over. Well, they are, but sometimes they're hard to get in because of leagues and so forth. But, you know, see, so yeah, I got to figure that out. She's he doesn't get out, get out much, so I he doesn't don't. realize the bowling alleys. Getting out, yeah, it's overrated. But at any rate, time. that's simple, right? A, a going bowling, <laughs> and she'll smile like that. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take me on a nice place where I can race a car. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> that would be expensive, but... It would be, but it nonetheless, be I just think yes, yeah. they need to have variety. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, you know what? One of our one of my favorite <laughs> family <laughs> family vacation memories <laughs> was when we went on vacation and everything we did was crap. Not everything, <laughs> but legitimately, I know we which one she means. <laughs> money on these events that we did and went and did, and they were sad. I'm so I glad we did. I could have done them. a better job. <laughs> But yet, I look back and I laugh because... So many good memories of all the bad stuff. One of our kids stood up and left. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it was this not bad. anymore. It was they so weren't bad. mad at us. They just, the they thing were was just so like, stupid. We're going to go do something else. <laughs> so even I would say with oh, dates, my even if you have terrible dates, you can look back on those and laugh. They can yeah. be great memories. You can. And I think that's important to remember that you're also just trying to create memories sometimes so. those things connect you yeah. you know what i mean yeah and bring a bring a heart connection <laughs> <laughs> like like oh, one time this is stupid i i don't know if you you know, of course you'll remember this but you probably don't think about it too much but we early in our marriage we went on a cruise that was like a big deal like our 10th anniversary yeah, or something it was, it was a big deal but do you remember that one cruise point we we stopped and rather than paying for a taxi we walked because they told us you could walk it. Was it. walking distance. We ended up, yeah, and it was, but we, we ate up so much time walking. Yeah. And yeah. We, we look back on that, but we we remember it. It's a memory. And it's a connection. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I'd pay for that taxi so I didn't go in and enjoy the thing, right, or whatever, <laughs> the town or whatever. But it made a memory that we yeah. would not have had yeah. if we had just jumped in. So anyway, it's, it's, it's good to have that variety. But listen, I just, I agree Dates are important. And I think don't get bogged down in the details um, and get overwhelmed and then not do them. Just dive in and do them and do your best. And you know what? You'll get better at it. And the more you connect, the more you're going to learn what your spouse enjoys these days yeah. and what they find is fun and you'll do better. And sometimes you'll still not plan real great, but sometimes you'll plan wonderfully and just yeah. dive in and do it and yeah. take, take everything that comes and yeah. you'll be better for it. This right? is how we connect. Yeah. And if you want to have a good marriage, you want to <clears throat> stay connected, you want to stay healthy. You got to connect. It requires a date. Yeah. A lot of dates. <laughs> a lot of so, dates. Yeah. Yeah. It's important. There you go. Get rid of the excuses. Dive in. Enjoy each other again. Date each other yep. again. Yeah. It's like watering a plant. It never ends. Mm. If you want the plant to stay alive. <laughs> Good point. You got to water it. Good point. If you want well, the marriage to stay alive. Mm -hmm. You got to water it. it. Yeah. it's a good point. That's yeah. It. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's what we have. Yeah. All right. Go on a date. 
Hey, hey, we invite you to like us, subscribe. There's something else. Share. Share. And then ring the bell to get notifications. We really do appreciate you watching. It's a fun adventure.